Hello VC and Tubies. How are you today? John with you. I just uh, started watching a YouTube channel and the guy that runs it calls his subscribers Tubies, as in like YouTubies. I think that's kind of funny. I kind of like it. I don't know. Tubies. I don't mind being a Tubie. Anyway, we're going through my Hawaiian record collection and let's pick up where we left off. We're up to a very beloved artist. Uh, he formally sang with the Maka, not the Makaha, the Sons of Hawaii, Eddie Kamai and the Sons of Hawaii, that group. Uh, Mo Keale is his, was his name. Um, this is the solo album, first solo album he did in 1980 called South Sea Island Magic. Featuring the uh, Emersons, who did a, a lovely steel guitar, acoustic steel guitar on this album. Um, I really, really love this album. Uh, this album came out... I just come out when I f first moved to Hawaii in 81. I had just first moved here and this album was kind of new. Getting a lot of airplay and oh, I really loved it. And I still love it today. Uh, he did a follow-up album that was really more successful. Oh, I still really loved that one. Um, this is great too, but <laughs> Mokeale Aloha is a part of me, a part of you. Um, this had quite a few popular songs on it. He has a wonderful quality to his voice. Aloha Is was a big hit. Um, yeah, a Part of Me, A Part of You. A lot of the Hawaiian songs. Really nice music, beautiful quality to his voice. This one came out... A year on this one? Yeah, 19... Oh, several years later. 1986. I didn't realize it was quite a quite that much of a break from 80 to 86. That's the last LP. Now he did move. There was a cassette. Imagine. I don't know if that ever came out on CD. That I just had. That I was starting to convert over, and it broke. I've given up on cassettes. I was going through a period where I finally got a cassette player, and I could record the cassettes and convert them and digitize them, uh, because there are. A certain percentage of Hawaiian releases during the time period, really between LP, vinyl, and CDs, where there were just they were only released on cassettes. I think Imagine was one of those, and they got kind of lost because there aren't very many copies of them around for people to hang on to because cassettes break, you know. And that's what's happening. It's happened to me several times. I've had gotten CDs or cassettes that are only like available as a cassette, and been digitizing them, and they break while I'm digitizing them and I only get like a couple songs or one side or something and it's been so frustrating um, that I just disconnected the cassette player and was like, okay, you know what, you're done with that. Somebody else is going to have to preserve cassettes because it's just too frustrating. So, sorry. But uh, yeah, Moke Ali passed away a few years ago, kind of prematurely. I think he had a heart attack, I believe it was, but uh, it's kind of sad. Beautiful music. Uh, up next, we have an artist who you may not recognize her name, but you will probably recognize her voice if you listen to much Hawaiian music. Even if you're on the mainland or overseas and you're only, you know, hearing Hawaiian music from the golden era here and there. <clears throat> and that would be Nina Kealii Vahamana. Nina Kealii Vahamana. Quite often just called Nina. Um, uh, this is... Uh, she did a Nina Volume 1, Nina Volume 2 with the Jack DeMello Orchestra. Now, she doesn't have a lot of solo material out, but you'll recognize her voice because she sang for many years with her sisters, uh, Nina, Lonnie, and Lahela, I think they were called, also called the Rodrigue Sisters. They're on some of the old Waikiki's albums, Waikiki label. Uh, she sang for a long time with, I think, on every single Hawaii Calls album with Webley Edwards. I think every single one she's on. Very recognizable, clear, beautiful voice. Um, she also, what did she do later? Um, she, oh yeah, she recorded uh, many uh, albums with Jack DeMello and his orchestra. Some of those, uh, the box sets music of Hawaii, Ala Moana Presents, 
Music of the Monarchy, yada yada, quite a few of the uh, Jack DeMello albums she is a soloist on also. So you actually hear her music, her voice many places, but not a lot of solo material. She also recorded with her mother, uh, Auntie Vicky E.E. E. Rodriguez. Okay, so volume one and two, Nina with Jack DeMello. Then there's this album, Jack DeMello presents Nina Kelly Ivahamana Namele o Hawaii 1844. These are all songs written by the Reverend Lorenzo Lyons, and they're actually hymns. That's her name spelled, I don't know if you saw that. Nina Kelly Ivahamana. And then there's a couple of albums she did with people. Uh, Hula Luau style. This is Nina Kale Ivahamana with Bill Kaiva. We've already covered his albums, but they did an album together of Hula songs. Uh, also, an album of mostly duets. This is Nina Kale Ivahamana and Charles K. L. Davis. Remember, I gave my aloha. She always held a day job, by the way. Her family, uh, the musical family, always believed... I feel like I've said this recently in a video. What if, when would I have talked about her? I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, they all believed in holding day jobs. So she held a day job for her entire life. I think with the Ilikai Hotel as like a... No, she's a personal secretary to a big way. Some really big person in like with the Ilikai Hotel or with development, um, resort developments and architecture work, whatever. Anyway, she had this like job forever, and then her music was just something she did on the side and at night, although she did tremendous amounts of music. I mean, her body, her whole body of uh, output of music is tremendous, although, like I said, there's not a lot of solo albums. Her voice is out there. Um, Finally today we look at Ke Kai. Now this is a group from uh, 1977 is this recording. It's the only recording by them that I'm aware of. Uh, I'm not aware of any follow-ups or anything, but it's a nice album. It's a good group, nice harmonies. Um, very 70s you know, feel to it, and I wish they had done more, but um, that's all I'm aware of, Ke Kai. Okay, we're gonna stop there and listen to some samples. Oh, my. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you'd like to hear more, please subscribe. And uh, if you have any of these records, leave some comments. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, if you like this kind of music, I invite you to check out Hawaiian Hi-Fi. It's my online music station, Easy Listening Hawaiian Music on Live 365. Or you can also subscribe to uh, my other YouTube channel, which is called Hawaiian Leisure Hour. And that is uh, just whole selections from all of these Hawaiian records here behind me. Thanks for watching. Have a good week.